Hi folks, I'm Stephen Cronin and welcome to another watercolour painting demonstration. Now this is a simple winter scene for you. White paper comes in really nice for creating the snow effect. So let me show you the colours I've used. So on the palette we've got on this one I used ultramarine. It was predominantly ultramarine and burnt on back with just a little bit of crimson you'll see in the sky. Might have touched at the panes grays of it was mainly the, the dark colours. And then I think it was just a couple of brushes. We've got the large on rounds and height there. And a, a number three rigger and a size zero rigger. Right, so I'm gonna kick this one off with um what colour shall I use? Let's go a little bit of blue. Bit of crimson in what little space I've made for myself in the middle, which isn't a huge amount. Let's just soften all that off. Just a little bit of colour up there in the sky. A bit of brown, a bit of blue, sort of dark. I just want some on the put on the horizon now. It's, it's, it's sort of going up the hill, so we're, we're sort of up there somewhere. But not. Not very. Not very really deep, just nice and shallow, nice shallow strokes because they're quite far away. Now I'm just going to, the paper's still wet so it's just softening off but it's also disappeared in some of these strokes. I'm just sort of reapplying it. Now what I might do is just flick up, just create the impression of little bits of trees and things growing. So there's like a big hedge, hedge there going up the hill. Oh, and that's stronger than the background. And then we're coming down. Then there's like a hedge row along there. Right, now I'm going to start putting in some of the hedges. So we're sort of right down there type of thing. And then that sort of bends its way up. Now the other side. So the rest of that, that road is, looks quite wide there. And it's coming down. If I just pop in this hedge now it's, it's something like something like that. There is like a big tree back there, and then that just goes off something like so. It must be a little bit darker. And then we've got like a big, big tree. Big tree, something like that. And then switch to the rigger brush. Plenty of water, and just mix some of these dark colours. Bit of brown, bit of blue, bit of Payne's grey, mix these colours together and I'll pop in all the branches now. There's something like something like this. Up 
up to about there, just up to that little crimsony bit. Don't want to go any higher than that. I mean, that's, so I'm not really worried about the strokes. Just trying to create it as nice and random as I can. <clears throat> but next to that I can see there's like a tree growing out of this. And that's sort of giving something like that. I can see a little. I'm going to be a bit strong. I'm going to do that. I don't know. Now. We've got something like. Just the tracks on the road. And they're coming down. more blue. They're coming down something like that. can notice is that the tones are slightly out. Stick into some of these darks, not too much water. But I want, I want to be matching this tone here. See how dark that is now. And that's going down. So what I'm thinking is, um, first off, I just want to strengthen some of these tweaks again, a little bit light some of them. I feel more about the sword liner on this. The sword liner holds a lot more paint and you'd have to keep reloading it like you do with the with the rigger brush. Although I find I prefer the strokes of the rigger brush, but it's a bit more laborious because it's just constantly reloading the brush, whereas the sword liner holds a lot more paint. Um that'll do it. I don't think hang on. I'm going to stop faffing about it with it. What I do want, I might go with the little, the little size zero rigger there. I'm going to need, I just want a little man trudging up the hill, just gives it a little bit of character. Um, it's going to have to be pretty small. Um, so he's going to be quite far away. But, um, He seems to be getting bigger and bigger as, the, as I keep. So the, what I want to do now is just put a big, strong foreground shadow to give the impression of some light in the scene. So I'm just going to mix a bit of brown, a bit of blue. 
little bit of that crimson that's in the sky there as well. Just mix that into it as well. Give it a quick test. I think that'll be okay. Um, so I just want like a quick shadow of our little man as well so just into that same mix and then it's same angle as well so coming slightly down like that I think all that remains now I'm just going to sign this one and call this one done. So just take a bit of take a bit of light red. And I'm just gonna sign it down there. So let's stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. So here's our finished painting. You can see it's more about contrast than colour this one. I did catch a little bit of the alizarin crimson off the palette and possibly I don't know if I should have reflected some of that down in the ground to get some sort of unity. I'm not sure if that would have worked better. But you can see where the, the, the distant land was put in when the paper was still damp. So it's, it's sort of softened off a little bit. And then you can see where I've sort of strengthened it as it's come slightly forward. That hedgerow there, and then another hedge, and then a big strong hedge in the foreground. Big shadow cast across from the trees as well. You can see sort of Sort of, sort, of, sort of blocked it in with some uh, predominantly ultramarine and burnt on match just to get that dark look and then cast the shadows across same mix but a lot lighter a lot more water less paint more water and also so it's transparent so you can see the the painting underneath did the hedgerow a couple of times just to get that strength in the tone as the sort of the path just leads forward to our little man there trudging up the hill in the snow you see, just cast that little shadow as well from him to complete the complete the scene. Very, very simple painting. You see how well the, the white paper works as blanket snow. So I always love doing winter scenes. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Please do join me over at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. There's over 260 videos on there exclusive to patrons members only um, get two months free as well if you join up for an annual membership so until then if you've got any questions please ask keep practicing and i'll see you again soon